Welcome back 3DS SPP users. I'm Kelly with the University of Michigan Center for Ergonomics, and I am continuing to share with you some information and insights about the 3D SSPP software developed at the University of Michigan. In this video, I'm going to be going into some additional functions regarding the 3D SSPP's animation capabilities. To begin, I'm going to show you an additional way to add frames on the animation timeline. For this animation, I am going to leave the anthropometry of our avatar at the defaults. I'll leave the first keyframe as the default starting posture. The alternative method to add and delete frames that I'm going to show you now is to right click. The first thing that you're going to want to do is to left click on the frame that you'd like to add a keyframe to in order to select it. Once the keyframe is selected, I'll right click on the animation bar timeline at this frame. Here you can see a small pop-up appear that will give you the option to add a frame. Also note here that there are multiple other options available for you from this quick right-clicking method on the animation bar timeline. I'll click Add Frame and you can see a second frame is added at the point on the timeline I've selected. Note also that if I click one keyframe and then hold Shift and click a keyframe farther down the timeline, I can see a range of keyframes. At this time, I'd like to take a minute to let you know that you can change the frames per second used in any 3D SSPP project if the default of 25 frames per second is not your preference. To change the frames per second being used in your project, navigate up to the animation drop-down menu and select Set Frames Per Second. This will cause the Set Frames Per Second menu to appear and you can see you have a couple of options here to customize your project. The default of 25 frames per second will be automatically selected, but notice that if you select the custom checkbox, then you can enter the frame rate of your choice. 24, 30, and even 60 are fairly typical frame rates, and if you would like to view an animation with those settings, this is the place to change that. We allow the ability to change frame rates in 3DS SPP to accommodate various frame rates from motion tracking systems. I'll note here that the length of an animation is limited only by the RAM memory of the computer. That covers developing animations when using the 3D SSPP. Check out further videos in this 3D SSPP tutorial series to learn more about how the software can help you analyze physical demands in the workplace. Thanks for watching.